Now to our year long effort to combat reckless driving and also highlight solutions. A busy crosswalk in one of Wauwatosa's neighborhoods has a new signage hoping to alert drivers to pedestrians. In tonight's Project Drive Safer report, Ryan Jenkins is here to tell us where and why this particular intersection is a priority for city leaders, Ryan. Charles and Shannon, that's right. In a statement, the city of Wauwatosa told me the crosswalk near Vliet and Martha Washington is a priority for city leaders right now because it's back to school season and this particular crosswalk is right near a daycare and in an area where families are out walking around with their children all the time. And I spoke with some of the people who live in this area, one who even tells me he tried to take matters into his own hands after he was nearly hit in this crosswalk just days ago. I was walking to daycare, something I do at least on a weekly basis. Nicholas Sedaris is a parent who uses this crosswalk to take his child to daycare. Last week, he experienced a close call. I'm walking across the road. Another car comes up behind the stop car and peels out behind it. I think they must have thought that this other driver had stopped for no reason. So they peeled out. It was very loud from their tires, from the engine. They peeled out, went around this car, and they veered out of the way to the side of the road to avoid hitting me as I'm just standing there in the, in the middle of the crosswalk. He says he's also seen others in the neighborhood nearly ran over. So he decided he wanted to try to bring awareness to the dangers and ask drivers to slow down. So I put in the Milwaukee Walk signs that say yield to pedestrians. It's the law. And one on each side of the crosswalk and then put two more, one on each side, a little further up the road to kind of catch people's eye and thought, you know, maybe this will do something. The very next day, he went back and found the city's public works department had installed these solar powered rapid flashing beacon reflect crosswalk signs. I was super excited. I thought this is great. Dina Kay has lived in the neighborhood for 17 years and also hopes these signs can alert drivers here. I hope it does help. Um, I, I always fear walking across the street. I'm always extremely careful and I see a lot of people with kids and strollers. So I hope it works. I hope it gets people to pay attention. She says over the years, driving in the neighborhood has become more of a threat to safety. It's definitely increased and become more reckless. A lot of people um, driving through red lights, um, just not watching where they're going now, not being observant of people crossing the streets. Dina asks drivers to slow down and pay attention. And Nicholas says reckless driving doesn't only consist of things like police chases, stolen cars and crashes. I don't think these are people out, you know, trying to cause trouble or anything like that. I think it's just random people who are off, you know, driving home from work. They're off going to a restaurant. They're off just living their life and they don't realize that this is a daycare. People live here. A new tool to alert drivers as neighbors plead for safer streets. And so I do want to point out that the city says that this was likely a welcomed coincidence that their new sign was installed the day after Nicholas planted his. But still, they say back to school season is a time to model safe crosswalk behavior, especially to young children. And that is an important reminder for all drivers across our area. Charles Shannon. Yep, timely reminder. All right, Ryan, thanks.